end users can connect to virtual desktops and applications from all kinds of devices. Horizon Client can be installed on desktop OSs, Mac, Linux, and Windows, or on mobile devices, Android, iOS, and Chrome. Whatever the device type, a similar logon and connection process can make for a nice, familiar experience. In this video, I'll use Horizon Client on Windows to access both a virtual desktop pool and some published apps hosted on an RDSH server farm. Here's what you need to set up to get to the point where this video begins. I'm going to demo how to do things on a desktop client. The desktop client device can be either Windows, Linux, or Mac. They all work pretty much the same way. You'll need to install the Horizon Client software. To do that, go to the client download page. To run the installer, you need to log in to the device as a user with administrator privileges. Then to connect to the desktop or app, you'll need the address of the connection server, its fully qualified domain name. And of course, you need to have created a desktop pool or app pool or both, and entitled some users to those pools. Most of these tasks are shown in earlier videos in the series. As I mentioned, I'm using a Windows client device, but there's a twist. The Windows desktop I'm using as a client device is actually a virtual desktop that I'm accessing from my MacBook. So what I've done is used Horizon Client for Mac OS to connect to a Windows virtual machine in my lab. From there, I'm going to open Horizon Client for Windows and connect to another virtual desktop. So I'm using a nested Horizon Client within a Horizon Client, which is so cool. Here's my client device, which is a Windows virtual desktop in Horizon Client. See, up here is the Horizon Client toolbar with its disconnect button, USB device access, and send control alt delete, which I need on a Mac since I don't have an alt key. I'll start Horizon Client by double clicking the desktop shortcut. Now click the add server button and enter the fully qualified domain name of the Horizon connection server. In a fancy production environment, this could be the name of your global load balancer or if you have a unified access gateway set up so that people can connect from the internet, this would be the FQDN of that gateway. Click Connect. Enter the credentials of a user who is entitled to the desktops or apps. This is the selector window, and it has icons for the one desktop pool and two app pools I created in earlier videos. Double-click the desktop icon. Now I'm in my virtual desktop. The menu bar at the top shows all the options, where I can disconnect and log off. I can reset or restart the desktop because I turned on that option when I created the pool. Allow display scaling. I can do auto connect to this desktop so that next time I won't have to even see the selector window. It will just take me into the desktop. Share folders with my client file system. Blast display settings. Real-time audio video, printers, application settings, shortcuts, geolocation, calls and sharing. And then there are choices with respect to USB devices. You can have them get redirected to the virtual desktop, either at startup or when you insert the USB device. Another way to disconnect from the desktop without logging off is to just click this X in the corner, which I'll do because I want to show you some other settings. Back in the selector windows, click up here to disconnect from the connection server. OK. Now the client window has an icon for the connection server instead of that big plus sign we saw at the beginning. Now if I click this little arrow in the upper right corner, I can see the general client settings. For example, the option to not verify the server certificate. I could click that if I didn't want to see this warning every time I log in. Or if you can't connect at all, sometimes it's because this option is set to prohibit you from connecting to untrusted servers at all. One of the other things you can do here is set the client to log in anonymously. This is for setting up things to work in a kiosk mode fashion, where you want people to be able to wander in and connect without supplying any usernames or passwords. To set this up correctly, you also need to configure the pools to allow unauthenticated access. All right, we'll go back in, continue, log in again. I'll double click calculator to launch it. Then instead of showing a whole virtual desktop, it shows just the app. 
It looks and behaves just as if it were installed on my client device. There's even a taskbar button for it, so I can use it to close the calculator. In the next video, I'll show you how to use the HTML Access web client if you want to connect but you don't have the Horizon client software installed for some reason. For more Horizon technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.omnisa.com. <laughs>